Hello doctors. During the pandemic, I saw doctors in my family using WhatsApp a lot for consultations. The problem is that whenever they wanted to know when was the patient prescribed, which medicine was prescribed and whether the fees were received or not, they had to scroll through a lot of messages. Another thing I found about doctors is that they are very uncomfortable to ask for their fees as medical service is a sensitive task. That is why I built mediplus1.com where doctors can manage patients and prescriptions in a digital and structured format. Let's go ahead and log in. If you are a first time user, click on register. I'll just go ahead and click on sign in. You must be logged in via your Google account or else it will ask you to log in. Here we have a simple interface. At the bottom, if you can see, there are four sections, home, patients, search and account. The first time you sign in or register, you'll be taken to the account page wherein you need to fill out all the details about your clinic or medical center. You can also add a Paytm, UPI or GPay linked mobile number, your qualifications and your medical center logo. Let's go ahead and click on home. Here we have a simple section of search wherein you can enter the name or the mobile number of the patient. We have next appointments, due appointments, visits, patients, statistics about the patients and payments. Let's go ahead and quickly add a patient. Here we have two options to add contacts via Google contacts or you can do it manually. We can even add a patient if they do not have a mobile phone, for example, a child. And for that, we need to first enter the parent's mobile number and create them as a patient and later on create another patient and tick this box. So the child can now act as a patient using the primary mobile number of the parent. Let's go ahead and use the Google contacts. Click on save. If we click on show details, you can see the details have been fetched from the Google account. Here you can see the overview of the entire patient. We can add appointments, visits, view appointments, and of course view visits. And the payment details, you can even delete the patient. Let's go ahead and quickly add a visit. You can say complain, body ache, prescription, Sprint. We can add more prescriptions if we want and remove them. These are personal comments if you want to add some. Description, medicine, amount. We can add another one for consultation. You can see the total being updated. We have two options to display the fees. The first one, of course, will show only the fee on the prescription. The second one will show the fees as well as your UPI details requesting payment from the patient. We have the current visit date, type of communication and the next appointment. Here you get the overview of the entire prescription. Medicine, descriptions, fees, the next visit feed you and this is what I was talking about accepted payment methods now the doctor no longer have to message them separately for asking for their fees the patient immediately comes to know that they have to pay this fee which is due we can mark it as paid and this is where you can send it on whatsapp or share it via gmail click on generate prescription this can take a couple of seconds and click on share an image has already been generated and this is how it looks and now we can share it via any medium that is supported on our device coming back to our home page we can also now see there is one entry in the next appointments which we recently entered we can again share the prescription so the patient is aware about it we can also edit the entry you can use the search to quickly find the patient again and if you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can click on the help button on the bottom right and search for your query or you can send us a message directly. I hope this tool is useful to you. Thank you.